Why do we even bother, Hank? With what now? Well, Thomas made his way back before Billy and Dennis could make their way to Fneedville. And now Billy and Dennis are gonna make their way back to, to Sodor where we are. I mean, uh, I don't bloody know. I don't know how the engines of Sodor come and go there very quick, but we just go there by boat. I.e. me, Billy and Dennis go by boat. And they go by boat. I know, but at least it shows that we have more characters that aren't trains with faces. Well then again, we kinda influenced Numpty the whole Cory Cory thing and gave him the cranky face. <sighs> you know what? I'm I need a break. I mean you know what? I'm gonna need I'm gonna go for some fresh air. Just a quiet stroll in the woods. The the a nature walk, despite the fact that I have no legs. How about Henry's Forest? Nah, it feels a bit cliche. What about the Whistling Woods? No one really goes there these days. You know what? That's a wonderful idea. Right then, I'll just go there. Don't wait up, everyone. God damn it, cameraman. Hey, can we come? Sure, more the merrier. I'm gonna need some company. Let's go! Aren't you gonna go with your boy? Nah, he needs a rest by the looks of things. Yeah well, I just hope what I said at the top of half was just nonsense. Oh well, let's just hope Thomas doesn't do anything more stupider. Hey, this place is pretty cool. Well, what do you expect? It's the Whistling Woods. Don't know why it's called that. Pretty much a fucking dumb name in my opinion, but it's nothing whistling unless you count us blowing our whistles. <laughs> Anonymous whistleblower. That has nothing to do with what I just said. Oh well. Yeah. Uh, just keep going, I'll catch up. Okay, let's go. Don't have to drag me everywhere. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen in future. Um, is a Fakadrill gonna chuck us off a scrap? I mean, we rarely do anything on Sodor. We just sit around and Bash and Dash have been talking about this other engine we never heard of called Ferdinand and don't know where he's gone, but I wouldn't be surprised if he's scrapped without telling anyone. Yeah. Um, this is so stressed, but We'll find this Ferdinand engine or whoever he is soon, I guess. Ah, you made it, thank God, but I don't know, but you do have a suspicion that we're watched. Uh, no, not at all. Why ever give you that idea? I don't know, but I keep hearing like he gargly buzzy calls. Uh, you're hearing things. Yeah. Maybe anyway, let's continue. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Forrest is playing tricks on me now, Tree looks pretty neat. Let's see if we can find a way up. That's a wonderful idea. Uh, guys, uh, I don't think the tree looks safe. Then again, it has might have been it's dangerously on its side because of the storm now. 
sea level. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, back on Misty Island, we used to be excellent tree climbers. How is this possible? Trains can't even climb trees. Well, in this universe, we can. Ah, we're breaking the laws of physics. Nice. Uh, guys, not too alarming or anything, but the wind's picking up and uh, uh, the, it's, it's shaking from side to side. Oh, you're worrying too much, Neville. Danger's our middle names. Really? No! Ah. Uh, guys, I, I hear that stag noise again. Am I hallucinating? Or... No, we can hear it too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, besides, it's not like only some mechanical weird demon thing just gonna pop out of nowhere and... Oh god, what the fuck? I was scared. What an holy dickens is that? Bash dash, don't go up the thing. That's what it wants. I was scared. Don't be afraid. I was scared of the big sea ring. Just like me. Oh god. Uh oh. What's happening? Tree branching? Yes! Uh oh. Bash! Dash! No! Oh, okay, now put, put, put yourself together. The, but the, the mechanical thing is gone, and I uh, hope Bash and Dash survived the fall, and... Uh, and uh, ing Uh-oh. Ah! <laughs> uh, okay, I am totally paranoid and totally a bit fucked. Uh, Having a nice stroll for us, and I thought I would chill myself out and ponder to myself what will I do about the downward spiral of where me and my friends are going to live. And uh, having a nice stroll would be a nice way to sort out with two other friends, and then all of a sudden I'm a mechanical monster coming out of nowhere and taking them out and. Uh... Bash! Dash! Where are you? Bash! Dash! <clears throat> now I get to play, take a bite, and put back together. Oh my, I better go and see if the yellow engine's alright. That was pretty amazing back there, and uh, I thought, um, would you like to come back with me? Because, uh, as a matter of fact, I need some help to find the other two engines that this thing knocked out, and, uh... Oh, no, no, I ended up, I'm going, I'm going! Typical. Now then, time to deal with you. I wanted to wait until just the right moment to drop in. Not with that attitude, my dear. Ah, <laughs> uh, what a beautiful evening. It hasn't even got to sunset yet. Oh yeah, it's not even an evening, it's nearly evening. Do you check your watch? We don't even have watches. We don't even have wrists nor nothing. Hey, look, it's Neville, and he's coming down, and... Yeah. Okay, I'm miles away from the Whistling Woods. What a great idea for me to go there, yeah! Wait a bit of what incarnation happened. Whoa, it's obvious, Hank. Something was gonna go wrong, and it did. I was attacked by a mechanical engine fig that has... Flipping spider legs! Spider legs! 
and at the same time, I think he's talking out bash and dash, which is why they're not here right now. So, God help me where they are. Okay, okay, hold your horses. I mean, for all we know, they could be fine, for all we know. <sighs> I just hope so too, but still! Guess who's home from Fleetville? Yeah. My boys, you made it alive. Yay! Oh, thank Christ. Why, what's the matter? What's happened? So, let me get this straight. You went to the Whistling Woods with Bash and Dash while they go and mess around, have a little gale time. You thought you would ponder to yourself what would happen to us in a few years' time if the fact troll will scrap us or chuck us out. And then, out of nowhere, the three of you decide to climb up an unsecured, dangerously toppled over tree, which is very high, and then a weird mechanical looking spider monster hybrid thing that looked a bit like Edward came down and had one of its eyes out and tried to murder the both three of you and has possibly taken Bash and Dash with her and also you saw a yellow version of Billy with no eyes just coming to your rescue and then you just ran away what a girl yes but that's the thing Dennis I didn't know if the if the yellow tanker would attack me or kill me or do whatever he did to the to the thing that mangled thing easy now everybody i'm pretty sure there'll be a good simple explanation about this for all we know it could have been someone playing a prank hank would you call having an eye socket filled with pipes from your boiler which looks like it looked like she had a boiler explosion. Would you consider that a prank? Well, now that you mentioned it, no. no that's, that sounds awful. Anyways, but still, we're not going back to the Whistling Woods on any condition. But what about Bash and Dash? They'll be dying within their own blood and vomit and all that, but we can't just leave them to die. Billy, it's life or death. And as of now, they're just... The yellow tankion might have done something to them that we don't know. Heck, for all we know, that thing could have taken Ferdinand. Who's Ferdinand? That blue engine that the two of them keep going on about. Oh! That Ferdinand they keep talking about. Ah, I see. Well then, from this day forth, we better stay on our tracks and be on guard. And I suggest we all go in pairs of twos. Or three, if we're lucky, considering that there's only six of us now. I think that's an amazing idea. Well, Billy, it's better than being attacked by whatever I witnessed in the forest. Right. I suggest we get some shirt eye. We got another day ahead of us. All right then. Nighty night. <laughs> oh, okay. Typical. There we go. Much better. Now we're all under our own protection. Yeah. But for how long? Well, the only thing we just hope, the yellow engine with no eyes and that mangled thing will not come and attack us. Uh, shut up guys, I didn't know about mangled engines for one day. I mean, it's not like we're gonna wake up tomorrow and Thomas is missing and it turns out he, he went around the world.